What's up guys? Today we've got a showcase of the Transformers 10th anniversary tribute. 10 years of Transformers, or movie Transformers, leader class Optimus Prime. This is a reissue of the 2007 original movie leader Prime. has been repackaged as part of the 10 year anniversary and was subsequently released alongside the studio series here in the UK. The packaging is really nice. Got some fantastic artwork of Optimus all the way around the butt packaging. Turning it around, we've got the figure in both the robot mode as well as the vehicle mode. I do believe this is the first time that this mold has ever been repainted to have chrome. I know in previous years they've repainted it to have silver paint but never chrome. And the result is definitely really satisfying. Bit of a shock that this is only a 14 step conversion as I do have the Nightwatch version and to me that is a lot more complex than just 14 steps. Here on the side of the box we've got a larger image of Optimus looking really impressive and I really like this stylistic artwork that they've got going on. Really does give the packaging a very premium feel. Just turning it around. I did manage to get this on half price which was a massive bonus. I had half price and a £5 off voucher so I picked this up for £35 which I think is a complete steal for this figure. The original version goes for that, if not more, and this is the brand new version with the added paint apps. As you can see we've got the chrome on the visors, got some chrome in the torso area, some more chrome on the feet, I imagine that'll be more predominant in the vehicle mode, as well as some really nice chrome on the rims of the tyres. The tyres are rubber, just like the original version. It does also have a translucent clear missile which is something that's carried over from the original version. Turning it around, you've got some more chrome on the gas canisters and on these pieces here. I think they're the air filters in vehicle mode. But as you can see, this is just a really cool piece. It's definitely really good to have the original Optimus Prime done in this fantastic color scheme. Comparing this figure to some other repaints of the leader class, here we've got the Buster Prime as you can see, they have applied chrome in similar areas to the Buster Prime, only this figure is significantly more painted. It's got a lot of silver paint apps throughout, which I would have perhaps liked to have seen on this one. I mean, I think the colour distribution is good, how they would have put some more silver on the legs, especially the thigh areas and the upper arms. Definitely think it would have made this piece look a lot better. Here we've got it next to the Dark of the Moon Striker Prime. And as you can see, the chrome and the silver on this really makes it pop. Whereas this version kind of gets lost on the shelf. I imagine in vehicle mode though, the colour scheme will shine through a lot, lot better. For a final robot mode comparison, here is the new Tribute Optimus next to the Nightwatch version. This was the only colour scheme that I had of that original 2007 Leader Prime. And I'm glad that I stuck with this as if I would have bought the original colour scheme, then I wouldn't have picked this up. And I definitely do think that this is a lot superior than that original version of the colour scheme. Just having them side by side, you can see that they are exactly the same mould, just painted differently. I'm not too sure about the tolerances or whether there's any mould degradation on the figure. I found some when clipping the cannon into the peg. The original version tabs in a lot tighter and a lot more snug than this one. This one's quite a pain to plug on and doesn't really tab in. But that's just wraps up for the robot mode. We'll take it into the vehicle mode and do some comparisons there. A quick thing to note before getting into the vehicle mode, he does still have the automorph gimmick with the lights and sounds. You can see the eyes and the chest light up and he does transform partially the chest and the head section. So it's definitely nice that they didn't remove the electronics as it definitely would have downgraded the figure quite a bit. Here we've got Optimus Prime in his truck mode. And as discussed in the robot mode, I definitely do think that this is where the chrome will definitely stand out. You can see you've got chrome all along the gas canisters, the steps, the air filters, all on the rims of the vehicle, as well as the front grille. The headlights have been done in a very teal-like plastic, which gives this really cool effect. Got a painted Autobot insignia. The visors are also done in chrome with a same tilk like colour for the front windows. Only thing is there's no chrome on the smokestacks which is slightly unfortunate. 
turn it around, we have some more chrome on these back pieces. These just cover up the hands in the vehicle mode. The cannon hangs out on the back. Doesn't look too obtrusive. They should have chromed this back section out as well, this rear section. Put some chrome here, and maybe some paint apps on the back of the mud flaps. But overall, a really nice looking truck mode. Now, upon transforming it, there were some bits that don't tab in as well as they did on the original version. I do have some problems getting this all to line up properly. On my Nightwatch version, it does go together a lot better. I'm not too sure whether that is mold degradation or perhaps the plastic is not as good quality as the original version. Also, the tyres are definitely a different type of material than the original version. I still think they're rubber, however, they seem a lot more stiffer than the original, which doesn't give for a great roll. The original rolled really smoothly. This kind of rolls but stops. And to be fair, I think it's just the weight of the vehicle that pulls it along. Still has the light up feature. You push the button at the top. And the front windows will light up and you'll get a honking noise. It's definitely a very nice truck and definitely does homage the original 2007 leader class Optimus Prime. Overall, I would definitely recommend this, especially now, seeing as it is 50% off at Smith's Toys, as well as they've got a £5 off Transformers. So for £35, this is definitely a must-have. It has electronics, chrome, and it's the original Leader Class Optimus Prime. And Leader Classes nowadays go anywhere between £50 to £70. So this is a great, great pickup. And it's brand new as well. It hasn't been out that long. And the UK seems to be the first to get it mainland distributed hope you enjoyed this more of a showcase review if you did please let me know down in the comment section below and until my next review which will probably probably be on the studio series voyages i'll see you then thanks for watching